Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, we're gonna take a look at Masquerade Rapunzel from Tangled. Masquerade Rapunzel's ability description is starts fever time and clear assumes in the center. In order for you to activate her ability, you will need to clear a total of 14 copies of her on the screen. Her minimum score is 22, with a maximum score of 1108, which is 1108. That is a relatively pretty decent maximum score. And it's a bad minimum score, but that's as expected. If you have a really low minimum score, that means that your maximum score is going to be pretty good. So meaning that if you could get Masquerade Rapunzel to uh, level 50, then you will get 1,108 points per clear. Now, if you do want to get Masquerade Rapunzel to scale level 6, you will need to get a total of 36 copies of her in the premium box or use skill tickets. And I don't necessarily recommend using skill tickets on Masker of Rapunzel because there are better use of your skill tickets. But anyways, let's take a look at her ability. Essentially what happens is she is a center burst zoom. So when you activate her ability, the center of the screen will be cleared. And one of the strategy to using Masquerade Rapunzel is you want to wait a couple of seconds, make sure that the center of the screen is full of zooms before you activate her ability and that couple of seconds to ensure that the center of the screen is full and everything is settled down is really worth it because the longer the chain, the more coins you're gonna get at the end of the game. And really, if you are using Master Rapunzel, then you are using her for two reasons. One is to either pass a fever mission, uh, one of those where you have to get a lot of fevers per game, or you're trying to use her to get a lot of coins. And that's really the two reasons why you would use Masquerade Rapunzel. But anyways, I do want to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of uh, Masquerade Rapunzel at skill level 1, 2, and 3. And really the major difference between all three of these skill levels is the skill range. At skill level 1, the skill range is going to be extra small. Skill level 2, the skill range will be small. And skill level 3, the skill range will be a medium. And that is in reference to the blast radius in the center area. So the little circle, how big it's going to get. And at skill level 3, of course, it's going to be bigger than skill level 2 and 1. But there are some variations into that. There are, like, if you get a big zoom on the screen, then you're definitely going to get a lot more chain or higher chain than a skill level 3. Uh, but assuming that all conditions are the same, then you should get more chains as you level Masquerade Rapunzel up to a higher skill level. And one thing you should notice here on all three of these demonstration is that for skill level 3 I was trying to test out to see if it's better to wait those couple of seconds or to spam the ability button as fast as possible and if you look at the end result it is actually worth it if you wait those couple of seconds before you activate the ability uh, just to make sure that all the streams are settled in the center area before you activate the ability. Now one question I've been getting a lot is people are asking if Masquerade Rapunzel is worth getting and the straight answer is no. Uh, I do think that there are better zooms out there, but if you don't have a zoom that starts fever time right away when you activate the ability, then getting one of the masquerade zooms is not a bad idea uh, because getting a start fever zoom is going to help you get through a lot of the bingo missions as well as some of the missions that you get on a monthly basis. So if you don't already have one, then you should at least try to get one copy of any of the masquerade zooms. Uh, me personally, I use Parade Mickey as my start fever zoom just because I really like that zoom. But anyways, I do also want to show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of the ability activated at the same time so you guys can see what the differences are. So I'm going to slow it down here so we can really investigate it. And if you see it here, and I'm going to pause it so you can see skill level 3 is the little blast radius is definitely bigger than skill level 1. It's a little harder to tell between 1 and 2 and then 2 and 3, but if you see that big difference there from 3 to 1, you can definitely see that it is a bigger skill range. And at skill level 1, I got a chain of 20. Skill level 2, I got a chain of 22. Skill level 3, I got a chain of 24. And these are just averages that I got throughout the game. And keep in mind that skill level 3, I was spamming the skill button as well, so you definitely could get a lot more than the averages that I was getting. But I'm also going to fast forward it here to the end of the game to show you guys what I ended up with for coins for all three of these game demonstration. For skill level 1, I got 1,297. And skill level 2, I got 1,521. And skill level 3, I got 1,542. So all three of which is not great for coins just yet. They do get better at the higher skill levels, but 
At the end of the day, I still think that Masquerade Rapunzel is not one that you definitely need in your arsenal. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. And if you would like to see more Zoom Zoom content just like this where I'm reviewing Zooms or showing you leaks for next month, then definitely don't forget to scroll down and hit the subscribe button. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching.